Hello class, you're welcome to today's class. My name is Ibrahim Nazio and I'll be taking you on the topic titled Thermal Energy. Alright, so by the end of this class, you should be able to define thermal energy. You should be able to name the various means of heat transfer and explain them. Yeah, alright. We move straight to introduction. Energy transfer is the process of transmitting or transferring energy from one place to another. And what is thermal energy? Thermal energy is the transfer of heat from one place to another. And the word thermal means heat. We know heat is always transferred from a hotter object or a hotter part to a cooler part. That means heat transfer depends on temperature difference. So when this object is hot and you touch it, it will transfer some heat. And what happens at the molecular level, we know matter consists of solid, liquid, and gas. So at the molecular level, when there is heat when the temperature is high these molecules begin to vibrate and move faster and therefore there is collision between these fast moving molecules and those molecules that are moving slowly and before you know it those molecules that are living moving slowly begins to obtain also kinetic energy from this fast moving molecule due to collision so that's what happened and heat is transferred okay so we move to heat flow energy transfer means that energy moves from one place to another as without changing forms and the process of heat flow from the sun to us is referred to as radiation and the process of heat flow from a soup to a spoon is referred to as conduction so now Heat flow means that energy is transferred from a hotter part of an object to a cooler part of the object. Energy transfer means that energy moves from one place to another without changing forms. The next one we look at transfer of heat. And on that transfer of heat, we have three different processes of heat transfer. The first one is conduction. The second one is convection and the third one is radiation. All right. So we're going to look at them one after the other and we're going to start with conduction. Heat conduction is the movement of heat from one object to another that has different temperatures when they are touching each other. So in this form of transfer of heat, the object needs to come in contact and there are good conductors and we have bad conductors. Good conductors are materials that can conduct heat easily. Example are metals. All metals are good conductors and we also have bad conductors. These materials do not conduct heat readily e.g. liquid and gases all right so when particles in a matter or in a substance preferably metallic substance are heated the particles vibrate hitting the successive ones which are not in contact with the sources of heat this raises the temperature until all the particles in the metallic substance are heated up in this way heat is being conducted along the metallic substances and the process is called conduction so that's what we are talking about usually heat flows from a hot to a cool body you know that heat is a form of energy and a hot body has energy stored in the form of potential energy in it and in order to convert this potential energy into kinetic energy heat then passes to another particle which has lower energy therefore hot body must lose heat heat energy 
to a cooler one so that's what we are saying and that's all for conduction as you can see conduction depends on contact and difference in temperature right we are going to look at convection which is the next one convection heat is trans tran heat transfer is peculiar to liquids and gases that's in convection it's totally found in liquid and gases it flows from the bottom of a liquid container to the top of the actual to the top to the top by the actual movement of the liquid particles so when you have a pot of water placed on a gas cylinder we know the molecules of water that are at the bottom experience heat and are heated up so as the heat increase as the temperature increase at the bottom these molecules gain kinetic energy and begin to move upwards and those molecules up which are denser begin to move downwards to also obtain kinetic energy so this is the process of heat transfer and convection and the transfer of heat by movement of liquid molecules is called convection so this is what we are talking about here about convection heat transfer in convection is peculiar with liquids and the heat flows from the bottom of a liquid container to the top by the actual movement of the liquid molecules this transfer of heat by the movement of liquid molecules is known as convection all right so we move straight to radiation now radiation is a typical example of transfer of heat from the sun to the earth this is a method of heat transfer that does not require material medium for transmission unlike conduction and convection heat energy is transferred in form of electromagnetic waves and a typical example is the heat energy from the sun that is being transferred to the earth this is a typical example of radiation so we have come to the end of today's class but before we go we take the summary of all that we have discussed we talk about thermal energy and we say it's the transfer of heat from one place to another we discuss about the three processes of heat transfer which includes conduction convection and radiation we talk about heat transfer and we say it's always dependent on temperature and heat flow and uh, we also discuss about heat energy is transferred in form of electromagnetic wave in radiation all right i've come to the end of today's class but before we conclude finally you take exercise number one says what is thermal energy number two says define heat flow number three says name the three process of heat transfer and finally number four which of the process of heat transfer that do not require a medium all right thanks for joining us i look forward to seeing you next time